Welcome back. After a year's worth of preparation, the 14th annual Sioux City International Film Festival opens up on Wednesday. And uh, two guys that know all about it, Rick Mullen and Matt Townley, they're board members with the uh, film festival, uh, in today to give us one last update uh, as folks head to town for what is going to be a big five days, five days. of film-related activities. It's Rick, this week. Let folks, just real briefly, this is really a big deal. It's international, yeah. not in name, but actual in, in, in purpose. We've got 60 films that we're showing, main films, plus three uh, feature-length films, films from all over the world. Most of them are very short, 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes at most. So you're going to see a lot of different kinds of films. And we'll give you uh, the web addresses so you can go online and look at those films. But we also want to tell you today about two really important uh, workshops that are taking place. There are many over the course of the week, but uh, you want to talk about a couple I know specifically. Oh, yeah. Thursday afternoon at 1.30, uh, John Baring, a uh, man who was born in Canton, South Dakota and worked at Channel 9 back in the day, he's now a very famous TV director, and he's directed over 100 hours of television. He's going to be breaking down an episode of uh, Grimm and going through that. It's going to be a great opportunity for anybody who enjoys television or movies. You don't have to be a filmmaker or director to enjoy that. And John's going to be hanging out and talking to folks, and, and uh, it's going to be an amazing opportunity. That's on Thursday, and then Friday you have what's uh, really kind of a, a lunchtime special. Yeah. Lunch with the Legends, we're calling it. It starts at 11.30 on Friday. Uh, Ron Clements, John Baring, Marty Eicher, another former Channel 9, they're going to be talking about uh, and George Lindblad, too, talking about the experience of working at Channel 9 and, and going on to Hollywood. Uh, we're also going to have some food trucks there, so come Grab early. Lunch. Get tacos or a delicious salad, whatever you want. There'll be a lot of choices. Matt, those are some of the big names, but you have filmmakers from all over coming in for this week, right? Yeah, we have filmmakers. Um, actually, John Baring's daughter has a film in the festival. Her name is Andy Baring. Um, she's got a comedy, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, we have filmmakers from Philadelphia coming in. Um, New York. Some, yep, New York, um, the California. Uh, these are all, you know, that's what the festival's for, is, you know, right. other than bringing yeah. in big name talent like John and Ron. But uh, yeah, the, that's kind of what we put the fe festival on for, is these little filmmakers. And the cool thing about a film festival is, is you can meet these filmmakers. You get to, it's an interactive experience that you can watch the film and then when the film is over with you can like wow there was the person that was on just i just saw them on the screen and i can go talk to them and interact with them so and the events taking place at stony creek in a conference center and the orpheum on uh, saturday the web addresses that you need to go to to find that information you can go to siouxlandproud.com we'll have the information there the film festival web address real quick sioux all right guys have a great week great thanks tim Thank and you. make sure you get out to see things